Hi there, Howard Tinker from Restaurant Profits here and I um, kind of apologise for uh, the uh, look of this video. Uh, normally I uh, produce my videos in my home office but at the moment I'm on the road and I'm over in Western Australia. We've not been over here for, oh, I don't know, it must be about four years now. And so we thought we'd come over and spend some time with our clients, which we've done. We've been driving uh, up and down the uh, west coast beneath uh, Perth and tomorrow I'll go to see somebody else in Perth. And what's been interesting is talking to people about how they've been um, during COVID, after COVID, what they're doing differently now. And I have to say that all of my clients uh, are doing really well. And the, it's not that the focus now is on how can we put more bums on seats because they're doing great with that. A lot of the focus now, obviously, is about staffing. And I had a really great conversation with one of my uh, clients who said that his job has totally changed. He's taken himself out of the running of the restaurant as much as he can. You know, there's sometimes when he's got to go in when they're down on staff, but most of his time now, he sees his role as working um, to retain, attract, train um, staff and keep them happy. And he talked about all the different ways that he's doing this and things like helping people with their financial situation. So he went as far as to... Uh, buy someone a car so that they could get to and from the, um, the restaurant and, um, and they are paying him back in some really interesting ways. Um, they are creating events themselves and running these events and uh, making more money for the business, which in turn uh, pays him back. Um, he lent another member of staff some money who's doing exactly the same thing and you might be thinking well you shouldn't have to do that that's not what an employer does but these days um, one of the things that you've got to realize is that you've got to do things differently and because of the way he's treating him, his staff they are loving working for him they, they one of them actually told me that the other day about what the environment's like and then the second thing is those staff are recruiting their friends and saying, you should come and work here. This is an amazing place. This boss really looks after us. Um, he told me about the fact that he's actually paying his accountant an extra hour. I don't know if it was a week, a fortnight or a month, but an extra hour on a regular basis to work with, um, I think it was the chef, um, to work with the chef on his own personal finances so that he understands how money works um, how to um, how to make use of it so that it makes money for him so money makes money rather than him going into debt and this client of mine is actually paying uh, the accountant to do that and uh, of course this member of staff and I think it's the chef is really appreciative and he's starting to um, have personal growth just by working at the restaurant. So the reason to tell you all of this is just to say that, you know, we can all whinge and moan about the terrible situation that we're in with staff, um, or you can look at what is it that you can do in order that staff come to you, um, they're recruited by their friends, they stay with you, stay loyal to you, they create events to put more money in the till for you, um, you know, really creative thinking. And I guess instead of being a victim of circumstances, this member of um, our group, our coaching group, is um, creating um, the environment where staff want to work. So um, I guess out of that, my message is it's, it's on you. You can do something. You can have a really great staff team um, despite the challenges that are going on around you, if you can think outside the box. So I hope that's been useful. If you want more support from us from a coaching point of view or from a marketing point of view, uh, please visit the website restaurantprofits.com.au. Bye for now.